calculated this statistical data, we need to realize that Microsoft Excel does not have a box and whisker plot function. Therefore, we need to do some modification of these statistics in order to create our box and whisker plot. So below this statistical data, we want to create another table, very similar. Down here. And what we would like to do is we have, let's get down to where we can see everything. We have created another table that is almost exactly like this table, except we have asterisk beside each heading. And this asterisk we will call a star, for example, min star, or first quartile star. This will be almost like a weighted version because we'll be creating a stacked bar graph, and each of these values will represent a distinct stack for each bar. So once again, we've created our min star, first quartile star, median star, third quartile star, and max star. We will not have to do as much work for the equation editor on this as we had to for our previous data. We will actually use our previous data. Starting with the min, we select the cell, go to our equation, equals, and we want to go to our actual first quartile value for the respective column, click it and it will appear. We want to hit minus our min value from our first statistical data. Click again. Now we have them right at the top, and all we need to do is hit enter. For our first quartile, we want to come back to the top of our original data set, click the cell, go to the equation, highlight it all, right click, copy. We want to click the check mark, come down to the first quartile, star, this is our first quartile star, which will be the same value as the original first quartile. So once we've clicked the cell for first quartile star, we'll go to the top equation, right click, paste, and we have the exact same thing, and hit enter. For our median value, we will go to our, we will click the equation box, the cell box, go to the equation, equals, and for this one we will take the actual first quartile and use it with the actual median. So the way we're going to do this is another subtraction. We want to click the actual median, cell came up here, minus the actual first quartile. Hit enter and we've got our median star. For the third quartile, we'll go back to our equation, equals, we will take the actual third quartile minus our actual median. Just got that, hit enter. And for our max value, we'll click the cell, go to the equation, equals, we will take the actual max minus the actual third quartile. Hit enter. So once we have this, we're going to do the same thing we did before. Highlight the column. Copy the cells. Come to each sample and paste. Now we have got everything we need to create our box and whisker plot which we will have to do in a roundabout way because Microsoft Excel does not create by itself. Now that we've modified our statistics, we're going to take these values and turn them into our own box and whisker plot using stacked bar graphs. So what we're going to do is select and highlight our samples from our first quartile, our median, and our third quartile. We're going to insert that into a column graph and it's labeled a 2D column stacked column graph. What we need to do is flip our rows and columns. So the top left, there's a switch row and column. Switch those. And since we really don't have three series, 
we only have two samples, we're going to delete these series. All right, so our box is actually going to be the green and the red. Now we're going to add our whiskers to the plots. So if you click on the bottom segment and go to layout and over to error bars, down to more error bar options. Since we're going to make our whisker down to our minimum value, we want to display our minus and we want to enter a custom value for our error amount. And since we're doing the minimum value, we want to delete everything in the negative error value and input the set of minimum values from the minimum star. Hit OK. And close. We're going to do the same thing for our max value whisker. So hit the upper region, back to error bars more error bars options. This time we're going to use the plus display and we're going to customize our error amount. We're going to delete the positive error value and enter our max star set. Okay. Now we want to get rid of this bottom segment so we only have the green and the red as our box. So if you click on the bottom segment and go to format, shape fill, and no fill, that'll do away with that color. So now we have our box and whisker plot. Since we have our box and whisker plot, we're going to change and we're going to title our axes and our chart. So if you go back to layout and go to axis titles, primary, horizontal, and then we're just going to put the title below the axis. And then the same thing for our vertical, and we're going to rotate the title. And then for the chart title, we're going to go up to chart title above the chart and you can customize your charts accordingly.